All right, we stopped here at Darby Key, and we're trying to get into this area. But it's too shallow at uh, kind of low tide right now, so we've anchored just outside of this area we want to get to. We're going to wait till high tide, about two more hours. That way we'll be able to travel in there and tie up to a dock. One of Dave's uh, friends who actually owns this whole island, they have a dock there that nobody uses, so we're going to use it. Here's a quick overview of the chart. We came into the Exuma Island chain here through Rudder Cut. We're now sitting right here, and we want to get over to this dock located here. But you can see, in order to get from here to there, we have to pass over this shallow part, less than five feet deep at low tide. My boat has a six foot draft, so we'll need to wait until high tide. But right now I'm going to dive on the anchor because it's not really a sandy area, it's kind of rocky. We're not sure how the anchor's set. So, uh, best to get a visual to see if we're set. Just, uh, you know, we just need enough to hold this here for like two hours, so. is not ideal. The anchor didn't really set. It's just hanging on under the lip of a rock. So it's holding the boat for now. Obviously if we were going to stay longer we'd want it more secure. Plus we'd put out more scope. But since we're just here for an hour or two this will do for now. Well, it's not really set, but it's kind of a little rock. I explore the area a bit nearby and I see some cool sea life several nurse sharks and some grouper, so I decide to try my pole spear for the first time. Grouper, how this? Huh? Should I try to get it? In the Bahamas, spear guns are not allowed, but you can use pole spears or Hawaiian slings. Hawaiian slings have handles like this, so they're slightly different than what I have, which is a basic pole spear. Dave will explain how to use it. Despite the bad audio, you get the idea. You simply stretch the rubber band up the pole, and then you grab onto the pole with the rubber band under tension. At that point, it's ready to fire. So you aim and release. Nurse sharks are everywhere in the Bahamas, and they're harmless to people. Although one did charge at me, which I didn't get on camera. They will sometimes act aggressively if they think you have food. I'm now drawing the spear back and keeping it under tension. This is where the camera gets all shaky because I dive down and I see a grouper under the rock, and then... Okay, so maybe that was a bit dramatic for such a small grouper just barely above the legal limit. But hey, it will make for a nice dinner. I 
got blood on my hand. A good shot too, right there. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! First ever spear fishing here. Dave tells me to pour some rum in the fish's mouth to kill it instantly. Yep, right down the middle. Not too much, just enough. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, try it again, a little bit more. Just straight down the gullet. Okay, that just knocks them straight out. doesn't kill animals, so I, so I feel bad. I just don't eat meat. Not even fish. But and he's a lifelong sailor. This is desperate. <laughs> we're we're down to our to, last. The boy's got nothing to eat. He's down to his last burger. <laughs> Dave puts the fish head over the side. He says that within a matter of minutes, a shark will come and take it. And, sure enough, a good-sized lemon shark. Oh, it took it. it. Took it. After filleting the fish, we moved the few hundred meters from about here onto this dock. Now, time for dinner. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's done. That is done, too. Yeah. Nice. Where's your plate? Mm-hmm. Oh, mm. yeah, yeah. Look at that flesh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude. Oh, yeah. Man, look mm -hmm. at that. Nice. The next morning brings a rainbow, and Dave sees a photo op. All the way like this. There we go, there we go. Then we see more lemon sharks circling under the boat. Let's jump in the water. Get a closer look. These are truly majestic creatures. Lemon sharks can grow to 11 feet in length. Often feeding at night, these sharks use electroreceptors to find their main source of food, which is fish. Because they eat fish, not mammals, they are relatively harmless to people. Although they have attacked a few people before, but rarely and never fatally. In fact, shark attacks in general, no matter what the species, are extremely rare. Look, I'm a statistics guy and you're far more likely to get hit by a bus while walking down the street than to get attacked by a shark, even the most feared sharks.
Thanks for watching. Join us next episode when we explore some abandoned homes once frequented by the likes of Pablo Escobar and other drug kingpins. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Thank you.